what if I want a graphic in the middle of one of these things? I need to interrupt a video. I want my graphic to maybe go in between these two videos, or I want a graphic to go in the front. The first thing you need to do is have a video and import it, um, have a graphic, have some kind of image. So I made one in Canva. It's going to go in front of, I have the word demonstration here. Um, it's going to be a picture in front of all of that. So the first thing I need to do, of course, is import the graphic. So I'm going to go to my folder where I have everything located and look for the graphic. It's just going to quick, it's just a quick canva.com file. So I'm going to import that file. And um, it makes an assumption that I'm going to be starting a new sequence. So it put my picture alone on its own sequence down here. And I never taught you how to use sequences. So we're going to take that picture and delete it. I also know that there's nothing else on this sequence. So I'm going to click on the sequence and delete it. So I'm left with just one sequence that I'm going to be working with. We can work with multiple sequences later. Just want to work on this graphic. But now my graphic is in here. And so if I would just click and drag this picture in there, it replaces what was there. So my word demonstration and the end is gone. And I don't want the end and demonstration to be gone. I want this graphic to go in front of it. And I want all of this stuff to move ahead. So I could click and drag over all of this and move it ahead and drag my picture in here. Um, but it also replaces what's there. I didn't move it far enough. I have to take a guess. So I'm going to do undo. I'm also going to undo again. So control Z, control Z to put this back to the beginning. So even if I want this movie in the middle of this film or, you know, in between these film footages or in the front, if I click, if I hold the control key down, so I'm going to hold, click and hold the control key down on my keyboard or command if you're using an Apple product. And I'm going to click on this file and drag it in front of one of my videos or wherever I want it. Maybe I want it in here. And it has these little triangles because I still have my control key down. And those triangles hit that hint that everything after that is going to move ahead. So now I'm going to let go of my mouse button to let go. And I can let go of my control and everything was moved ahead. This picture is there for too long. So the other tool I'm going to quick introduce is if I move my mouse to the end of this picture, I can drag it ahead. However, there's this big gap and I have to move everything. And if I have a lot of footage, I'd have to move a lot of different things. So one more tool called the ripple edit tool. And if I click on that tool right here and move my mouse, I can drag this to be as long as I want it to be and everything else updates with it. And that's the benefit of the ripple edit tool.